Tonight, Beaver Creek made it very clear what the future looks like when it comes to the sale of recreational pot sales in the city. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Enright. And I'm James Brown. News Center 7's Malik Patterson, live for us in Greene County tonight. The city expected some back and forth debate with residents, but Malik, that did not happen. Yes, that's right, James. Behind these doors here, Beaver Creek City Hall expected a large turnout. Last time medical pot was on the agenda, residents told leaders that they were concerned. Tonight, not so much. This is a public hearing, so if there's anyone that would like to come forward. Monday night, Beaver Creek City Council members mentioned just how few people were in the audience. It is incredibly telling that we sent the notices out and there is no one here. Council still wanted to talk about the topic of companies selling recreational pot to adults in the city, but nobody in the audience spoke out against the pot sales. I have to be honest, I'm incredibly torn on this issue. This gives us the opportunity to see how that looks for our community, and then you can voice your decision or, or your input at the ballot box at that point. Councils vote two yes and five no, and council members refuse to say anything else. The ordinance did not pass. Monday afternoon, I talked with resident Jacob Stature. Like, why you just leave it as it be, you know? You know, why are we doing this now after we voted for it? True Leaves is the company selling medical and recreational marijuana in Beaver Creek. I talked with the company's attorney after the vote. Well, I'm, I'm a little surprised. Uh, I thought that... Uh, that I thought I thought the, it would go to a second reading at least. May said he had a feeling it would swing their way when council members said they did not want to stop a healthy partnership. And I hope that does send a message to some of the other communities too, that uh, that if it can work here, it can work in their community as well. The council talked about the sales tax that they get from every time the company makes a sale, and they said that it goes into the general fund. In Beaver Creek, Malik Patterson, New Center 7.